The last episode of Season 3, titled The End of the Beginning, starts with a conversation between Nikki and Jason about the letter they received from the Adoption Committee. We see her concluding this document written by their grandmother, Bev, that conveys how unfit they are to be these kids' parents. While this update disheartens them, Jason tries to seem optimistic and cheer up Nikki. They discuss their hopes of marrying each other in the presence of these kids and how the chance to do so appears to be waning. In jest, Jason asks if they should get married the same day, since the kids are still with them. Nikki seems pleasantly surprised by his question and agrees. They rush to their kids' room, give Princess and Tyler this big news, and ask them to plan out the outfits and food for this big celebration. When they go out shopping for flowers, Nikki tells the shop owner they want them for a funeral instead of a wedding since that would help her save instead overspend. Jason's father, Vic, decides to chip in and takes the kids to handle their responsibilities. Meanwhile, Nikki decides to take care of bringing something blue, something borrowed, something new, and something old. She goes to Karen's place, and while Karen starts looking for all these things, Scott gives her a glass that he had blown along with his last poem. She takes it as something borrowed and gets the embryo x-ray as something new. On the other side, Jason buys their wedding rings with Freddy. Since the one he likes is expensive for him, Freddy pays for it. He takes the ring and asks Jason whether he wants it. The whole sequence makes them look like a couple which is why all the people from the store start clapping. Later at the spot for their wedding, Robin also comes in, and since Nikki had fired her not long ago, her visit leaves her pleasantly surprised. When they get their outfits, they learn they are supposed to be a princess and a knight in shining armor. Since it was the idea of princess, they go along with it. Even princess comes in a flower costume, and Nikki does not complain. After all, it was their wish to get married in the presence of these kids. In no time, Nikki and Jason share their vows in the rings and get married. In her speech after the wedding about how happiness is derived from not caring what other people think. After the wedding, they come out of the venue, say goodbye to their kids, and assure them that no matter what the court decides, they'll always love them. While they choose to leave, the gang of friends and family decides to tag along to the court. When the judge calls him into the courtroom, Jason stands up and starts conveying his love for the kids, almost like a speech. The judge then tells him how all she wanted him to do was to confirm his name. After that funny mishap in this difficult situation, Bev is asked to share her family statement. While she shares her objections about the couple, Nikki and Jason oppose those objections almost like a rap battle. In the end, Bev says they're too nice and not tough enough to be parents. She even tells how she doesn't want to lose another one of her family members the way she lost her daughter. Due to this heartfelt speech, Nikki understands Bev's point of view and Kobe's the same with affection when they go outside for recess. She mentions how Bev will do only the right thing since she is the grandmother of these kids. Trying, episode 8 ending, explained. Their small conversation changes Bev's mind about the couple, and she allows them to be her grandchildren's parents. While they assumed they would not get this opportunity, the delightful news surprised them, and they couldn't control their tears of joy. They come out and even declare this news to their friends and family, who join them in their celebration. When Nikki sees Bev leaving the court alone, she asks her to join them in their celebration. With this fantastic news, the couple finally reaches the end of their beginning. While they now have permission to be Princess and Tyler's foster parents, they still need to consider their living arrangements since their apartment is on sale. That's when Freddy comes in and shares the news of having purchased it to allow the couple to live there on rent. At the end of the season, things seem to be going the way the couple always wanted. On this sweet note, the third season of Trying ends, and just like any other fan, I'm also waiting for the next season of this series. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.